Yo, what are going on internet? Kyle Linux there. So, Thailand and window managers seem to be extremely popular on Linux right now. i3wm, xnomad, you name it, they're all over the place. Seeing a bunch of YouTube videos about them and also uh, on various Linux forums. I found out that XFCE itself has a Thailand window manager option built right in. So, if you are on Zubuntu 18.04 or another version of the most recent XFCE, uh, what I would do is hit Alt F3, pull up your application finder, look for your window manager. And then under window manager, you can just jump to keyboard and you'll see all the shortcuts associated with managing your windows. Now, if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see the options for tiling. So tile window to the bottom, the top, top left, top right, etc. You're seeing a 1080p display right now because I've changed my resolution settings so that I could record this OBS video without things being strange and letterboxed. So I only use the tile window to the left, tile window to the right, and then top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. And using the super keys, I've set these shortcuts myself. So super one pops things to the left, super two to the right, etc., etc. So let's see a demonstration right now of how this works. So I'm going to close this. Let's fire up Firefox, no pun intended. Firefox is up. Uh, I'm gonna get Atom open and then mousepad. Maybe Discord. Awesome, all right. So now let's get to tiling things, right? So if I wanna chat to people but I don't want things to be all up in my way, I usually put Discord on the bottom right, bottom left. We'll leave it on the bottom left for now. Mousepad can do bottom right. Uh, Adam, top left, and then Firefox, top right. Awesome. Keep things nice and simple, nice and neat, right? Now, if I don't want to have four items on the screen and I want to have my browser open fully on the right, for example, if I'm doing some code like over here on the left, uh, I'd want to see the changes that I made right in the browser immediately. And on ultra wide, it looks a lot better. So uh, it, it's almost as if I'm looking at the full screen. So I'll just close, I'll just close mouse pad jump over to Firefox again, and then super two, and boom. It's now popped over on the right side, and whatever changes I make over here, hit save, and then refresh the page on this side, good to go, right? And then you can just alt tab and just start closing stuff real quick. Now, it's not, it might not be as awesome as, let's say, i3wm in the sense that that can pull up maybe 16 different tiles or 24 tiles, and organize them automatically it scales things down automatically there's no need for you to have to scale things but i don't need that many windows that's just me i don't need that many tiles three to four is perfect for me and the things that i'm doing as far as my pro um, productivity is concerned so for those of you out there that are looking for a more robust system uh they want that want to have more options as far as the number of tiles you can have and the styles of those tiles definitely look into i3wm x nomad and all the other ones that are out there but for the folks that are currently on xfce or you know just using something like zubuntu like i am just use the one that's built right in keep it simple quick side note i also utilize workspaces when i'm using the tiling manager so if i have four windows open on one screen or four tiles that are set up on one screen. I usually jump to another workspace and set up another set if I need them. So one workspace would probably be set for communication programs and applications. Another workspace is for the text editor, terminal, and the web browser when I'm doing the code stuff. And then there might be maybe, this is not usually the case, but there may be a third workspace that has my file manager open and whatever else is associated with that if I need to jump to another set of windows. So that's another thing to keep in mind if you want to use the tiling window manager effectively. Tiling, Windows, XFCE, on Linux, Zubuntu 18.04 specifically. That's, that, that about covers it. Uh, on a quick side note, I want to mention to you guys uh, that we've passed 500 subscribers on the channel some time ago. I think it was like maybe two or three weeks ago. And I just want to express my extreme gratitude to you guys. Give thanks. Appreciate you all for tuning in since 2016. Was not expecting this many people to tune in after that Dell, uh, what is it, Latitude D630 video I did way back when. <laughs> but you guys have tuned in and it's been great. Um, I'm currently in the process of moving locations. When I do so, I'll be producing more videos uh, around that time. 
But till then, keep tuning in. I'll have like maybe a few things pop up here and there. I got a few Linux gaming things that I won't need a new setup for um, to have put up on the YouTube channel. So you can stay tuned for those. But once I'm in the new setup, in the new spot, uh, I'll be probably using this webcam a bit more because I don't typically show my face on YouTube. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in as always. Um, thank you for the subscriptions. Give thanks. And uh, thanks for watching. With all that being said, this has been Kai Linux. And remember, no matter what destroy you use, out of many, one Linux. Give thanks. Peace. Now we brought us a system wide.